What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to make a, a series of events or whatever you like when we uh, pass through a trigger. So it will be very useful for your levels to do things when you uh, pass through certain uh, you know points. This is gonna be a very easy tutorial to follow, um, so let's get started. So today we're gonna make that basically when you pass through a certain point, an explosion will happen in our character and we will basically react though, okay? So now yes, let's get it started. All right, so first of all, we need uh, to, of course, have our level opened and basically decide where we're going to put uh, the trigger. In my case, I'm just uh, going to going to select this one uh, and basically um, duplicate it and basically move it uh, so I can kind of mark, um, you know, the, the my path. So it's going to be easier for me to know when. where is the trigger. OK, so OK, so now let's go ahead and add the trigger. So what we want is to go in here and quickly add to project. Uh, I'm just gonna search in all classes and we are just gonna type trigger and you can see that we have uh, you know different um, types of triggers um, but the best one for now and it's just gonna be the normal trigger box okay you can use different shapes like capsule sphere to fit uh, you know to fit uh, better your uh, level whatever but I'm just gonna make it like that okay so basically when our character will pass through here um you know we will basically call event or something okay all right so now what we want is to open the level blueprint because we need to reference okay so just go in here uh in list of uh, world blueprints and then uh, click it and open level blueprint. okay so this will open the third person map level blueprint okay and now what we can do is select our trigger box in the outliner okay that we just uh, have added go back into our, our um level blueprint you can right click and then we have uh we can create a reference or we have two things here okay we're gonna add an event or we'll call a function we will add an event so it's gonna be on collision and on add on actor begin overlap so when we start to uh, touch the trigger we will launch something okay on the trigger box cool so first of all let's um you, you know overlap actor uh we're gonna make sure that you know it is the player so we're gonna just cast to bp uh third person character okay so if the cast is successful we'll continue so just to make sure that there's a player now and what we're going to do is basically instance a uh spawn in a system or a meter okay so it's gonna be an emitter at location okay so emitter is kind of like a particle system and basically uh if you imported the starter kit on your uh, starter things on your um, you know on your uh, Unreal Engine project you can just type here explosion and we'll basically have an explosion okay so now we can select it and there we go okay and the location um, well we can just get the location from here so get actor location and then we'll spawn it right on the player's position as we are getting it from the cast okay uh, the, the rotation and scale we don't care about it it's gonna be cool like this and yeah, that's pretty much all what we need. Um, like actually things will start to happen now. Um, but also to make it look better, I'm gonna play a sound. I'm just gonna make it 2D to keep it simple. And uh, I don't really have imported an explosion sound or something. I don't know. If, okay, yeah, it seems like, and it seems that we have some explosions. So I'm just gonna say the explosion Q, Q, sorry, as it's gonna, you know, have a random between these two. So it will be um, a bit more dynamic. And sorry, I just realized that it isn't overlapped actor. Sorry, it's other actor. Okay, so just plug that in into the cast. And now, yes, we can hit play and we can just go into my trigger. And when we pass, you can see that explosion appeared and the sound. Um, maybe you cannot hear the sound because I have it really low uh, for the recording. But uh, basically, it will happen and it will happen also um, one more time. Okay, um, we can make sure that that will only happen once if we go back in our third person map and um just here after we you know collided um after the cast and uh, we can just put a do once note and this will just do it once uh and if we never reset it well it will never reset so now we can pass it will happen and then it will not happen again so there we go it's my you know it's more control basically now they just make it so that um we can basically um ragdoll our character okay it's real quick so i'm just gonna make a new custom event in the third person character um it's gonna say ragdoll okay which is the third person character you can just open it in content third person blueprint third person character anyway just get a enter a point custom event okay and we're going to use drag the mesh drag this and say uh simulate uh, physics 
set simulate physics plug this in here and turn this true and then we can go into the mesh and we can just uh, go down and in collision presets we can put this in physics actor now we can compile and save and now we can go back in our uh, third person map and write um yeah we can just do it here and um, well actually here a bit yeah he's drag this put this here and drag this uh from the cast and you're gonna say rectal so now we can actually call all events so we can just i'm uh, gonna put it in here in the middle and now if we compile and save and press play if we pass there we go pre ragdoll so so cool so that was it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful please i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials in my channel so go ahead and check them out also if you have any uh, tutorial that you want to see uh, comment it down below so with all that said bye bye